Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to read the error logs and troubleshoot the cloud server issues. So I already written an article which we are going to cover in this video. The things that we are going to see is how to read the error logs and how to troubleshoot the cloud server issue if you have seen anything in the error logs. So basically what happens is whenever you access your website and if you face any issue then uh, the error logs are created and these logs are stored in our cloud server. So in order to access those cloud server we need to log in via SFTP and then we can uh, check the error log folder so that uh, those folders and the files have the, all the details about what the issue we are actually facing. So let me open my SFTP. I already logged in my SFTP. Quickly navigate to error logs what we can do is we can just uh, look up for the folder where log so this folders has all the logs of the, uh, our Ubuntu cloud server it includes all the system logs the server logs the Redis Nginx and uh, MySQL everything all the logs are stored in this uh, where log folder so basically when we have when we face any issues on the website uh, most probably uh, it will uh, show what exactly the error is from whether it's from nginx or it's from apache or it's a mysql database error or all those types of errors are already noted so based on that what we need to do is we need to access those folders access those files and check what exactly the issue is so say suppose i am getting an error on my uh, nginx uh, saying 404 or not reachable or anything something like that so what i can do is i will uh, navigate to var slash log and uh, this is the folder structure that i would be getting and in this i have the folder called as nginx so if i access the nginx so these are all the access files as well as uh, log error log files so access files are nothing but the files uh, when we log in or somebody is accessing our files from the system so that time the access log is created so this you can ignore it's basically like what all the internal file systems that are being accessed and it's pretty much okay the things that we need to focus on is the error logs so here you can see my error logs currently it says at 227 bytes and i recently got some error on my uh, browser website so if i open this edit so when you open this uh, you uh, you can open in your uh, whatever the favorite editor you have so it says uh, i have an error with unsupported protocol so this is one of the error and it's a critical error so obviously i need to take care of it what i will do is i will just quickly copy this error whatever the error is and then quickly do a google search so let me just do a google search here and uh, the first and the foremost thing is what we can do is we can just check if there are any uh, stack overflow uh, answers so which i personally prefer and uh, it's one of the reputed site and there are a lot of developers who actually helps in so first thing i do is i will do a google search for that particular error and look up for the stack overflow answers so if i click here let me try again so it says uh you don't have to downgrade so basically uh, this error is about the TSL which helps in connecting uh, your browser uh, to the website so and also there is an uh, solution here so which you can uh, use uh, so it's basically you need to add this into your nginx configuration file so in this way you can uh, look up for any errors that you are facing and then uh, you can just uh, any error you are facing and you can just resolve those issues if you're not able to troubleshoot the issue and uh, close that by open search or bing Sur google search or bing search and uh, not able to find any results what you can do is you can visit the specific forums of that particular system like for example in my case i have used the nginx so nginx there are there is a separate forum for nginx where you can just copy and paste your the error file and then the community members will help you uh, in resolving that you can even search in their community and then find the results if that is also not happening what you can do is since we are using the digital ocean cloud server so you can just go and raise a ticket uh, with the cloud server team and uh, they would be helping you in resolving either to completely eliminate that issue or they will give a proper solution uh, what exactly you need to do in order to close that particular issue and uh, they generally take a day or two to reply and resolve the issues and uh, since they have the access to your uh, cloud server if there is any critical error and you want to uh, ha handle them uh, they can do it from their own and then you don't need to worry about all those uh, problems uh, which you are facing.
so yes uh, these are a few of the tips uh, where you can understand what exactly is wrong with your uh, website and uh, how to troubleshoot uh, using the error log files and uh, searching the solutions i hope this helps uh, if you guys have any questions uh, please comment below if you're facing any challenges with regards to troubleshooting just drop me in the below comment box i would be happy to help you thank you guys cheers have a great day